Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to Dance of Cards. Stevie is Noah here, water in hand. I've already drank my smoothie. And uh, we're diving back into Dance of Cards. Uh, I think I'm still, I think I just woke up from the dream. So I think I'm finally like back on board. We are starting day five here. What a dream. What is happening? All right. Don't know what that was that decided to interrupt me. What was that actually? Did I think a picture of Dolph Ziggler just opened up randomly? Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> If only there was a way to capture the captain in real life. One can only hope. But -da 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 -da. Good morning, passengers of the Magnificent. Another day has passed, but I see no change in your ranks whatsoever. This unfortunate oversight will be rectified today. We have learned from our mistakes, and it will happen again. So prepare for the upcoming games and get... All the luck you can find, because you will need it. Mm, breakfast. Breakfast over in a blink of an eye. Everyone was eager to hear from Joseph and France. What a night! I can barely keep my eyes open. How did you, do you stay awake, Freds? It's the coffee. I would fall asleep if it weren't for the refreshing aroma. Don't leave us hanging. Did anything interesting happen last night? Yes, it did. Let me tell you about it. Martin, are you all right? Or Joseph, are you all right? Joseph. He seems to be sleeping. The night watch is taking his toll. Friends, we ask you to tell us everything. Okay, we wait in the movie theater because whoever wanted to reach the bridge would have to get past us. To be honest, I didn't believe we could succeed. I thought that our enemy would be on the alert, so I asked Joseph if he wanted to watch a movie together. But he declined, saying that we should... Oh wait, Joseph is not... Douglas is the loud guy. I'm getting my voices all screwed up. Uh, and stood at the door listening to every sound. We were just about to fall asleep when we finally heard footsteps. Joseph got up immediately and rushed to the door. I quickly followed him. It was dark, but there was a figure barely visible moving towards the grand staircase. Our presence must have scared this person off, so they abandoned the idea of going to the bridge and ran away. We followed the figure, but he managed to hide behind the doors just a second before we would have caught him. And as we entered the interior of the ship, something very strange happened. That mysterious person vanished into thin air. No tracks, no footsteps, nothing. We tried looking on other floors, but nothing came. It was as if the person never existed. Not knowing what to do next, we went back to the movie theater, hoping he would try again. But nothing else happened that night. We checked the food cart in the morning on, on the bridge. Nobody had touched it. So the captain couldn't reach it this time. You did a good job, friends. I help too. Don't forget about me. I forgot your voice apparently, but uh, we're, we're back now. Are you awake? Yes, you both did a lot. So you told him what happened, friends? To be honest, I don't know if you can really praise us, considering that we couldn't catch the captain. No, you gave us a great lead. Remind me, where did you lose track of that person? 
It was by the top floor of the grand staircase. And we should go there immediately. But I want to sleep. Please, Joseph. He's just, he is just exhausted. Don't you want to find the captain? I think we're on the brink of an important discovery. All right, all right, I'll go with you, but I need coffee, lots of it. Which one? Like, he's Joseph, right? Like, whatever. Yeah, that's Joseph. There he is. Yeah. This is where I lost him. Should we redeck the other floors? Recheck the other floors. No, I think we're in the right place. But it's a dead end. Where could he be? Let's ask our experts on disappearances. Martin, Emma, do you have a do you know a trick that can make a man disappear in an instant? What we do is real magic, not just some tricks as you call them. <laughs> tricks are what whores do for money. Let's not get into the details, so do you know a one? Yes, there are a few ways of doing it, but I don't think any of them could have been used here. What time was it when you arrived here? It was midnight. I noticed it because the clock struck. Why do you ask? Does it have any significance? I don't know yet, but I have an idea. Let's try to set the time to 12 o'clock. Which is too hard to animate. Look at the clock! There's a passage behind it. Martin, you're a genius. So that's where the captain is hiding. Shall we go there? I'm afraid of what we might find. A do boop boop do. A do do do. Serpentine. It's like being chased by an alligator, you know? Yes. Are you ready to open this door? No. <laughs> that makes me think I'm not. Let's check my inventory. Hey, I got all these tokens that don't do anything in a mouse. Shot in the face. <laughs> the captain, dead, shot in the face. The captain. We meet at last. Wait a second. Are you? He's, he's dead, Joseph. Dead? What on earth? Looks like he shot himself before we got here. So much blood. Is he really dead? I can't feel a heartbeat from the distance I'm stand like I'm I'm probably I'm probably a good six feet away and I can't feel a, a heartbeat from here. Are you sure there's no trickery going on here? Could this be an automaton instead of a human being? Let's find out. Well, we ripped the skin off. <laughs> no paint. It's really the captain. So he got scared of our revenge and decided to take his life. Yeah, bastards. Get out of the situation, all right? What shall we do now? Maybe these twisted games will stop now that he's dead. I'm afraid not. Automatons obey the captain's orders. If he hasn't ordered these pieces of junk to leave us alone, they will continue to torment us. And I doubt he gave such an order. What the hell? I thought that once we found the captain, we could put an end to this madness. But this manages to torture us even after his death. I'm so angry. This is where he planned to control the automatons. He 
want to give the orders via radio contact. The elevator most likely leads to the bridge. But all of us went out. But all of this went out of order after the ship hit the naval line. That's why he had to make his forays in the dead of night. There's a lot of film on the table. It must be where he reported his messages. But it's all cut up. Some bloopers or what? There's a complete film in, in the camera. It must be the last message to us. We should watch it in the movie theater. It has surround sound. Let's leave this place again. Look at the body. I wanted to take revenge on the captain. But he found a way to escape my wrath. Burn in hell, you bastard. There's a gun. Does anybody want the... No? All right, we'll just leave a gun there. Let's look at the captain's dying words. This is my last message. I do not doubt that my crew will be able to see this ship through to the end of this journey. If any passengers are still alive then, well, congratulations to them. You will have a chance to leave the ship. I won't be able to keep you here. You will be free. But until then, the games will continue. And I command my subordinates to see that very few of you reach the shores of the new world. You must be wondering why you must suffer so much. And I will answer. I hate you all! Each and every one of you is responsible for her death. And I feel no remorse for any of you. Only your pain can extinguish the fire. But I'd be a hypocrite to say that I'm not to blame for what happened to her either. Or happened either. I'm as guilty as you are. That's why I decided to end my life. My only regret is that I won't be able to see you die in agony. Goodbye. Has anyone understood what we're guilty of? What was he talking about? Her death. Maybe he was talking about the girl whose ghost we saw. I have a bold prediction. We've had two dreams, right? We had the dream where we were under the ocean with all the other dead people, whatever that was. But we had the other dream where I got the mouse and all the tokens and stuff like that at the carnival. And it ended with me being hit by a car. Everyone involved in this game was at the carnival in some way. I think that wasn't my dream. I think I might have been living out Sophie's life. Because Sophie was the name of the girl we did the seance for. That's my theory. I currently don't have my fan on, so hold on. Most likely, but I have no idea who she was. Such a shame that Douglas can't tell us. That's me. <laughs> How can we be responsible for someone's death? I've never hurt anybody. Could it be some kind of mistake? Mistake or not, there's only one way we can save ourselves now. We must stay alive until the ship reaches the docks. That's right. You heard the captain loud and clear. And I, Automaton Dormy. And I, Automaton Edgar. Are here to see his will fulfilled. You got repaired already? Of course. You didn't think you got rid of us, did you? So please, stop with your futile attempts to resist the inevitable. Playing with death is your only path to redemption. Damn it. All of this was for nothing. There's no way to escape our fate. The cruise is scheduled to take a week. That means those who are alive on the seventh day will be able to leave this house. 
We just have to survive two days somehow. Come with me. I'm tired of running from the inevitable. Everyone left deep in thought. One hope has died and the other has risen from the ashes. A lighthouse in the distance shone a light on us. Will we be lucky enough to reach it? The answer to that question will be clear tonight. And for the time being, there is still much to be done in this life. All right, let's go befriend some people. All right, so I'm already maximum friends with her. Did we lose Archie? Did Archie die? Did we kill Archie? I don't remember killing Archie. Apparently we did. Uh, we gotta look at map. I want. Yes. Okay. So she's in the sick bay. So I'm gonna go to the sick bay and I'm trying to befriend her as well. Oh no, there. There's Archie. Archie exists. Okay. So I want to go to the sick bay, because that's where Lisa is, and that's who I want to befriend most. And then I'll go pet the cat for a bit. If there's time. So let's go to the sea deck. Let's go. I became more daring and started stealing from people who weren't not burdened with the alcohol addiction. However, things got more complicated, and I even caught got caught stealing a few times. Fortunately, the amount was small, and I managed to avoid the police. Then I realized that the perfect thief is when you don't even know you're being robbed. I learned how to make counterfeits and replace the stolen money with them. It helped me out more than once. A person might notice me taking money out of their wallet, make a fuss, and then, after counting their savings, see that the amount had not changed. They would then apologize and drop any complaints they had against me. Some even felt guilty and invited me to dinner parties to make amends. At these dinners, I met even more people who were not watching their money at all. As you could see, everything was good. What about the counterfeits? Couldn't they see that the money wasn't real? I did a very good job. Until recently, even the police couldn't see that they were dealing with fakes. I, I could have just saved a step and, and used the counterfeits, now I think about it. But it was only now that they begun to suspect something. That's why I wanted to sail to another continent, to do what I do best in peace. But as you can see... Things didn't work out the way I had planned. Yay, Lisa trusts me completely. Trust! There's still some time before the games. on the promenade. Okay, let's go to the promenade. There's also another thing I kind of want to see if I can do, so. How do we 
get out of here. There's a, there's a kitty cat. Um, yeah. Okay. But before I do that, there's something else I want to do. I want to see if the seagull's here. And if I can still buy the bird food. That might be a lost cause at this point. Because there's... Ah, uh, the seagull is gone. I, I'm going to do... don't want to talk without the director. Ooh, interesting flashback here. Martin, look what we can do. <laughs> Did you like it? It was Archibald's idea. Aren't I the best? He's a very intelligent cat. Have I told you how we met? A thousand times. No problem, I'll tell you again. What on earth? We're, this, we're two flashbacks deep now. I was flashbacking to a time that I had a flashback. What's that poor thing is this? What follows is Martin's dramatic interpretation of the meeting between Archie and Lynn. Behind. Behind what? Enemies behind. Oh. Oh, oh god. Oh, uh, oh, oh. You're safe now, my shaggy friend. Thanks for warning me. But I didn't know cats could talk. This is for you, master. I'm glad I made a new friend today. Just. That was very dumb. <laughs> Dear passengers of the Magnus, as the sun inevitably sinks below the horizon, so the time for new games inevitably arrives. Even the captain's death can't stop it. We await you in the card room with a new dose of joy and despair. I have to wake up Joseph. doing next to Dita's cat. Oh, Dita, the delightful of my eyes. I beg you to come out. Stop with all the cliches. What do you need? But why? Your, be your beauty deserves an ode. You are every man's dream. And I'm not just an ordinary man. I'm a decorated officer, well-built and wise. That, what is it, I'm like right here. No one sees me. This ship will soon reach the shores and tear us apart forever. So why do we waste time? Why can't we find comfort in each other's arms while we're still alive and blood is still burning through? Have you lost your mind? You old fool. I will not do it. I don't know what this voice is anymore. Decide to play, touch me not, huh? No means no, bro. Well, I'm your way. But I know who you really are. 
Raven told me everything about you. Maybe some gold will convince you to make the right decision. Okay, listen to me. Now you listen to me. Joseph, my darling. Jeez, geezer, why are you harassing my girl, huh? You get a death wish? There's a lot you don't know about her, Joseph. I know enough. I know she's the best in the world. She is the Celadon... <laughs> the Second City Saint. She is CM Punk. And I want anyone to sully her honor. And if there were anything to sully... Oh, what was that? Say it again. And not in my voice this time. You heard me, Joseph. You're just falling for a pretty face. You can't see beyond your nose. Let's not make a scene here. You've got something to say. Let's do it man to man outside. It's a bit cramped in here, don't you think? Yeah, let's go, you old pervert. What is... I've, I've, I've done very little that would constitute gameplay today. <laughs> you won't live long to see the end of this cruise, Arthur. Oh, youngsters, I'll talk no trousers. No respect for your elders. Why should I respect you, you dirty bastard? I fought the war for you, kid. Thanks to me, you and skanks. Skanks? Like Dina can enjoy our lives now. That's enough. Say your prayers, geezer. Ow! <laughs> like I said, all talk. The ring! I can't lose it. Joseph, what are you doing? I would jump! Uh, the water's ice cold. You will freeze. I don't care. Joseph, wait. Idiot. He was so ashamed he decided to take his own life. Cut the crap, Arthur. We have to pull him up before he freezes to death. Bring the ropes. <laughs> what is the tone of this game? <laughs> Oh, the captain unalived himself in a pile of blood, and now Joseph is frozen in a block of ice. Joseph, darling, why have you done this? Drop the act, please. It's not like he's gonna hear you anyway. He's David Blamed himself. Shut up your mouth. Shut your mouth. Don't shut it up. That's stupid. You know nothing about me. Joseph, and how did it come to this? Oh, spare me your tears. But save the kid then if you have such strong feelings for each other. We'd better get him someplace hot. The boiler room will do. That's our best bet to defrost him. If he has any inner strength, he'll survive. Ah, just leave him here. It goes without saying that I'll miss today's games. What a cunning bastard. It's your fault. How so? I didn't throw him overboard. He did that on his own. Anyway, we have to go to the card room. I think we keep everyone waiting. Please go to the poker room and let us know how many players you will be participating. So, it's a shame that Joseph can't play with us. He's a great addition to our team. Joseph was the one that was willing to volunteer to save all our lives. So I think there's a chance that uh, 
I might have to volunteer to save somebody today. Is Joseph going to be okay? I very much hope so. Please go to the poker room. The other teams aren't here. All right, I'm going to save. Oh, and uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. Why? Because this is all going to have to go up as one episode to be worth an episode. <laughs> I guess my, my gameplay for this session was choosing to spend time with Lisa and Archie. Everything else was just me reading in various goofy voices. But I hope you're still having fun here with Dance of Cards. Be sure to subscribe right here to Plus Two Comedy Gaming so you can catch up on all my past live streams. Uh, I don't know when this is going to go up, so let's just say I'm streaming a lot. 3.30 Eastern Standard Time right here on Twitch. That is Plus Two Comedy Plus the number two comedy. Uh, and I will see you all next time. Mm.